Hello everyone and welcome back to One Last Desert Adventure, where we are nearly done here and once completed, we will have to say goodbye to the hot, hot desert south and say hello to the cold, cold northern frosty mountains. The Hebrew region. region. Yes, that. I was going exactly from the back, Michael. The Thinking sh like the... Ah, shrap, too close. I'm time to get thrown out again, I guess. There is a little bit left that we need to do in the story for this place, though. Say goodbye to the hot south and hello to the cold north. Ow! Technically, we're, we're in the cold south. Hmm. How many times are you going to say that same line to me, lady? Huh, 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 huh? Until you stop coming in here dressed as a, dressed as a voe. Bo. Where's Bo my apples? Bo. Here they are. Take this! Some of that! And some more of this! Man, she's good. Ah! Hey! Ah, ow! Okay, fine. I'll go away. Spoil sport. Uh, let's wear some desert stuff. Like, uh, you know, sand boots. There we go. I'm gonna go be stupid. How, how am I gonna be stupid? It's what we do. So what are we doing first? Well... We are right next to that, which uh, I've never even walked up to because there is no point. And it says there's a treasure chest nearby. And you're freezing again. And the treasure this chest is gone. This nice. Nice about halfway done. I don't want to take damage. I just healed it up. Uh, the circlet. Yeah. There we go. It has more defense than the doublet. Which is kind of hilarious. Hydromelon. I said, thought I said heirloom for a minute. I was like, well, hydromelons are the things you find in the desert. Which is awkward, because you wouldn't think so. Uh, Here we are. Ah, perfect. Let's just pick this up. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Oi, stupid! The item is only for those who are proving themselves in the Sansil races! Hands off! Race me! That's that's Sansil racist. Oh. That one doesn't have for it. Hmm. That's what do you want? The great Tali does not tie in the chat with just anyone. You see, now that the divine beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Tali is busy focusing energy for the Sansil race. Can I join? Actually, did you want to try to beat Tali's record? I warn you, they don't call it Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Sandsail race? You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime. The world famous Sandsail racing. Maybe the Gerudo Desert's pastime. I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tali? Sure is. You serve with the Sandsail and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's Sandsail racing. So it's desert dune snowboarding. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bound, you're disqualified. Tali's record is a minute 30. If you can beat that record, that trophy's yours. Boy. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of Sandsail racing champions. I feel really bad because when we put that in there, it's going to disappear. Tali, here's the current champion. We tried challenging her record. Of course. Sure, why not? Ah. Forgot to mention. Since you're racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race. Forget right. it. Get it. That'll All right. Below hey, a hey. Enough talk. Let's begin. I didn't even get to ask her about Tolly. Oops. This makes me sad. Oh, well. This is race is actually pathetically easy. A challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sansa race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. Boy, they're really building this up. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? Is that Tails? The incomparable beast of the desert. The Sand Seal is ready to ride. Did she refer to me as a he? No. Oh. I was wondering if I put on the Grudel garb. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than a minute 30 while still passing under every arch? Didn't she say risking his life? Yes. Oh, you're actually life and limb. Oh. <laughs> Go back and check. The suspense is killing me! Why does that look like big? I'm attack? going to start the countdown! Also, why does that Gerudo have an afro? Because. A Gerudo afro, if you will. Now, as I was saying before, this race 
is pathetically easy. If you somehow actually manage to lose this race, I'm sorry, you just fell at life. Or you just missed an arch. Maybe you bounced off an arch. Treasure chest! Only. And there's no reason to ever slow down either, even though you're using the faster seal. It's not a wild seal, at least. It's a trade seal. Which means it'll Is it a navy it. seal? <laughs> so easy. Almost at a minute. How about a harder course? Terrace, I'm surprised there wasn't a harder course after this. This is like a challenge that you would get a hard piece for. I <laughs> think it'd be harder <laughs> though. I mean, these boulders aren't even trying, guys. They don't even know how to boulder. You guys suck. Now you're gonna get attacked. Learn how to. They're never it. gonna hit me, though. Sure. This there race is almost over. There's only eight arches. We really barely have ten seconds left. See what I mean? Pathetic. Actually, he had almost fifteen seconds left. Okay. It's a new record! It's almost press A and move forward the race. Hmm. You do have to go left and right a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, and then almost a sharp right turn. Game, don't you Mario Rabbit's Kingdom battle on us. Don't Also, don't Mario Galaxy. There us. we go. <laughs> All right. I did this in the dead of nights. So everybody's huffing and puffing. Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes. When the Holy Jewel is offered under the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. That power hasn't been granted to anyone. Not even me, obviously. And yet... Is it a power to me for you? Well, I wish I have never felt for anyone else. You should give it a shot. <laughs> and so, a new champion is born. Take the saber tooth tails belt. Seriously, right. it looks like saber tooth tails prower. <laughs> you don't defeat a champion. Oh. That was, oh, Aaron. No, that's Holly. Robert. Oh, that was some solid ride. Huh? Hey, the champion talking to someone besides me, I must admit, I'm a little jealous. Oh. I guess you're the new champion now. As a legend shared among Sandsteel racers, that the grand trophy is the key to finding an ancient treasure. But that's a load of Sandsteel's not, if you ask me. It doesn't say Sandsteel, it just says Seal. Oh. It's alright, you can add a little bit. Yeah. Is it just me, or she basically look like a Grudo pimp? Yes, yes she does. Alright, don't mind me, Tolly, but I just, I gotta stare in your crotch region for a minute, okay? That's that's too close. It's a sand seal, Robert. It's saber tooth tails prower. Is it should be saber sand seal prower? Are you sure it's not Bubsy 3D? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it looks like oh, him. He does kind of look like Bubsy. Uh, pervert. Take a picture of him with his crotch. How about her face? <laughs> that is a tiny chest. <laughs> Alright, we're done here. She has more muscles than you do. Uh, aren't you gonna do the thing? Yeah. I thought they yelled at you if you didn't put it down. Oh. I was trying to get yelled at. Stop trying to get yelled at. You do that enough in this episode. You know, like, uh, when you had to put the, the, the orb on the pedestal way over here. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. This one. If you walked away, like, where are you going? Put the orb in the thing. All right. Slam dunk. I th like the iron golem. Hold on, hold on. I got a plan. Okay. Uh, let's see. Think about right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Darn it! 
failure. It's gonna be such an amazing thing. Man, just slam dunk the thing. Okay, fine. I'll slam dunk it. By using a proper bow. Uh, that's a duplex bow. It's gonna fire two arrows. <laughs> Oops! Oh, Wait, come back! Come back! Oh. Come back! Ah, oh, you really Is suck. This the also, end you should unequip your high rule shield before you start running its durability out. It's a high rule shield. That thing's never gonna run out. You'd think so. <laughs> How? What? I don't even. Well, it worked. I was trying to be in midair, darn it. Rumble, rumble. Why can't we skip this? Terry has like. This is a cutscene that you see like eight, 18 to 20 times out of all the shrines in the game. Now, what if I am inside of it and it costs me to glitch the world? Uh oh. That would really suck. That would be amazing. Especially Maybe if not. I could just teleport away. Darn! Oh. So you've, close! You've been like a foot more up or back, Eric. It's at the ass end of it. It's too far out. If you hadn't jumped backwards... I'll, I'll get more chances, maybe. If you, if you hadn't jumped backwards at the end, you'd have been fine. Better put on my rubber. You know, it's a desert. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Excuse you. Now you're freezing. And now you're not. Now you're fabulously perfect. I know, right? It's great. I think we've only we've only got twenty two more shrines to go. Twenty one after this. Wow. Dang, we've done ninety. And it's this a was freebie. freebie. Huh. Okay. Makes well, sense. Yeah, you have the to sand do. seal. Guys, there's a chest in here somewhere. My sensors are detecting it. I don't know where it is. It's being blocked by this chest shaped object. Oh. Three of them. You have a lot of those. I think we need to start using those to fight guardians. Let's try to get this one used up. Nah, let's just go back. To There's the one that's not. Yeah. It's really sad as you're gonna have to drop a shield. I and didn't a need my rubber. <laughs> I thought you would. It makes sense though. You never know. Sometimes these ones that say they're supposed to be a bl that you think would be a blessing end up being uh, a lot of challenge. And sometimes the ones you think should be a challenge at the end is just a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying. And sometimes you run into the combat challenges. Alright, as soon as the freaking loading zone's over, I'm gonna throw down a couple of pins in around the location where the other two shrines should be to help me find them. Alright. It's a lot easier than wandering around aimlessly and walking right by a shrine, even though you know it was there, but you still walk by it. Should have put a pin on the ground and then I would have realized I passed it. Anyway. <laughs> one of those shrines is somewhere around in here. This right. Rock looks like it's probably it. Right south. Right what? A little bit more south. How do you know? Because I recognize the area. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put a pin there. And then the other one is around in here somewhere. Like Down a little more. South Down and... A little more. Right about there. West? H south how do west? you guys know? <laughs> You're not looking at a map, are you? Freaking cheaters. I am the cheaters. king of reading maps. Are you kidding you wanna know how I found all of these these freaking shrines? Also, I'm gonna freaking turn this freaking thing off. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to shrines. I actually found 90% of the shrines on my own. I only had to look up a couple of them. I think the only ones I looked up were the labyrinth shrines, so I didn't get every one of them. I think it would be best if I just grab a sand soul at this point. And I want one of the faster ones, so I'm gonna rent one. I wish teleporting to Vodaburus would be a good idea. But no, no Vonaburus is all the way out there. Yeah, no, yeah, that's not it's, gonna work. it's on a mountain. Even if you glide it down from the mountain, it would still not take you the full distance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still think they missed an opportunity to make dried meat. Seriously, the arid desert, the desert air would like dry up any meat that you want to eat. Mm. You ended up with beef jerky. Oh shoot, this or, can't be the last you know, episode. Turkey jerky. Why not? Um, I mean, not the last episode. The last Desert Dwelling episode. There's a. There's gonna be new missions available in the town now. Alright. That are only available after defeating. Huh? What? 
You, you're wearing oh, my the hair. I, I thought I was. <laughs> Oops. You're what? a dip tar. I thought I was wearing the boots of the. Uh, I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> I was I'll just put those on. Besides, wouldn't the sand boots still give you away? No, dude. Nah, the boots are fine. And while I'm here and I thought about it, let's go with Stamina Vessel. You're being overflowed with vigor. There's no need to increase your stamina. Mm. I'm vigorous, guys. Alright, fine. Give me the heart container. <laughs> it's the only thing I can get. I got a heart. And some say his heart grew... Three sizes. Though. Four sizes this day. There's one... There's two. On the upside, we don't have to sit through the cutscene now. We we'll have to sit through that. But that's not as bad. Boop. There's Actually, here's the third size. Fortunately, this is the last one we can get right now. Oh yeah. crap! I, I do need one more. His heart did grow three sizes that day. Michael is now the Grinch. The good well, Grinch. I am green. You are the green one. I can't believe they're re remaking the Grinch again. What? Really? Yes, they're re remaking the Grinch again. The old version wow. wasn't bad enough. And seal seal the deal. Seriously. Seal you another time. How about I seal a kiss from you, sweetheart? <laughs> this one's a chain, looks like. That joke nope, is still a sealed one. away for a long time. It's my umbilical cord, guys. It's just. It's I just know, a... I know. <laughs> They had a notice for a guy when they attached this to us. Alright, where are you going? I was trying to attack him, but it wouldn't let me. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that rock looks like the one. I bet it's what I have on the map. Come, oh, Sealy! Straight in that direction. At least it's a better name than Patricia. Whoever's trying to tell me it's the south, I bet I was right on the money. I bet you it's like a footer to south of where you're going, so. Sand seal. Sand seal away. The sand seal and the sand zone. There's a shrine nearby, guys. No. Oh, hey, look! I'm right here. And also a restroom. How far do you have to bury yourself in the sand before you stop feeling heat? Uh, just a little bit, unfortunately. I know the heat doesn't penetrate that deep into the earth. You weren't even that close, Robert. I told See? you it was a little bit south. I no, told you it was right on this rock. <laughs> oh, jeez, I hate this one. We say soon. I'm done for. I've just, just found the shrine to uh, my throat. It's so dry. I can't move a muscle except my mouth to speak. If this really is the end, I wish I could have one last taste. One sip. One sip of an ice cold noble pursuit. Alright, just die already so I can haul your stupid ass off that. <laughs> Alright, normally this is super irritating, but I have the means to make it easy. I just do that, and then that. And then come over here, and ba bam Okay, that is much easier now. Well, yeah, because you don't have to come all the way back out here. Perfect. Unfortunately, there's still several things we need to do first. Why even bother? I collect that restroom. Why even bother bringing him back? <gasps> and that one. And that. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Yes, they're even up top. I saw a few up there too. There's like six guys. Restroom. Why can't I? You well, can't dash and grab. Yeah, you can. Well, you just show me that you can't. I can fall and grab. Okay. Whoop. Ow. Way to eat. Okay, okay. Dash grab. See? Huh. Must be the time. Maybe you can't grab it when you're going through it. Maybe it has to have enough time to put the A button there. Maybe, Maybe I should be mashing both buttons at once. <gasps> that looks like a thing. Um, okay. That looks like a talus. Nope, it's not a talus. There's there the is. rock. It's in the right spot, too. You know what would be funny? If you picked up that rock and there was a Korok under it, then you brought it over here and put it down and you got another Korok? That would be funny. Why is that not a thing? 
What if there was a whole train of Korok quests using actually... the same rock? There's your rock back. What if that gives you an extra very slowly one. losing health. Yeah, yeah, I know. There it is! No, there's one more. Even though you're in the shade, and that should be increasing your defense against... How am I in the shade? The, the clouds. Right. Clouds don't count. They should. That's kind of how that works. Any more mushrooms? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Worth in, it. In the shade. At least you don't lose a lot of health when you're in a hot area and the sun is shining. Oh. Must get noble present. The whole picture. Spider Link. Yeah. Spider Link does what? Oh my god, where's he gone? <laughs> Can he he wept into the sky! Can he turn into thread? Soaring high overhead. Look out. Here comes the Spider Link. Uh. That was actually really good. By the way, there was an episode of The Simpsons recently with Spider Pig was in. He's Spider not Spider Pig, Pig anymore, he's Harry Plopper. <laughs> you must have seen it. That was from the movie. Are they gonna catch us for sneaking in by the roof? No. Because we're dressed as a woman. I still can't believe the sandwich. Uh, Savannah, what's up, lady? What you what doing here? Um, I feel like I told you about this already, but I'm not ready for this quest line yet. Guess I gotta talk to Rizu first. You should probably. All right, do you do that, need then. to talk to Rizu, and we can get the world's greatest line about the Master Sword. Sa, Lan Vi, huh? I can't tell how old you are, but this place is definitely not for young Vi. Because the drinks we make here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a rare treat in them: ice. Noble Pursuit. Ooh. You want to try our signature drink, Noble Pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Like Even vodka? if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little Vi like you. Actually, my hand's going through. Oh, well, I totally trust you after saying that. What'd you I say? I give you one. <laughs> Pocky's collapsed? Mm. Hmm. I want to hear her out, but I can't make a you-know-what without ice. Voldemort? There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Aww. Are you serious? You'll get it? That'd be a huge help. Pocky is my best customer, after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Way I'm north. sure you've been there. Acne manages it. Or handshake. Yeah, Probably I about to say Acne. <laughs> but I think you explained the situation. She'll let you have some ice. Mm. You should know that she heads to bed quite early. If you plan to go, you'll need to get there while it's bright out. Yep. Oh, young lady. Carrying ice all the way through the desert and then all the way to town? I can't let that stand. If you bring the ice to the entrance er, to the entrance to the ruins between town and the ice house, I can take it from there. Yep, so we can't do it at night in which ice wouldn't melt because it's cold. What a bunch of jerks. Yep, they definitely wanted you to do this the hard way. Mm -hmm. Can I teleport there quickly? Because... Uh, no. Yes, actually, I could just... Well, you could try gliding down from the ice yeah. top, or I mean, from there. Spider Link! Unfortunately, we just went through the wall. I become one with the wall thread. I think we lost a few pieces of ourselves. I'm now a cobweb. <laughs> cobweb? You've become a cobweb in someone's dusty attic. You will now be batted away with a broom. Aww. That's... Spring cleaning! You know what really sucked, guys? Mm -hmm. What? If after all of this, we discover that the microphone was muted. Yeah, oh, that would Lord. really suck. Whoa. Okay, it looks like we're good, though. I just I just had to check to make sure, guys. Yeah, I would have checked that from the get-go. Well, wait. I always do a, uh, a test before we start recording, and I hurt myself, so of course it's not fucked up. We've had an episode... There's with... the ruins. The problem is, oh, wait, Michael, no, it's not. Those happen. are the ruins down there. Man, we've come a long way. Yep, we did it instantly. And we did it more! The ice house is over there, but what are these? That's not the ruins. The ruins are over there. I know, I'm saying, what are these? They're ruins. ruins. But they're not the ruins. We've actually been here before. Probably. Let's not, not no, stop. it's not probably. We've definitely been here before. There's a chest on one of those if you got it. 
But there's where I'm going. Yush. You suck. Now Yush. remember, Eggman, you shake the chow up and down. <laughs> Yush. What the fuck? <laughs> that was cool and weird. You nearly died. Aaron looked looked away, so he I don't think he saw it. Oh my. Wow, there's actually a ladder up here? Huh. Well, how else would you use a guard tower? How would you get there? Also, you better hurry, because it's almost 12. Oh, hey, look at that. Actually, I don't know what time she goes to sleep, so... Dude, it's almost 12 p.m. She goes to sleep at night. Just earlier than most. Who wants to lug a chunk of ice? Oh, what do you know? You really do have letters going all the way up. Well, like I said, yeah, how else would it go? Uh, I should just bomb these rocks right out here and just have it collapse on her. And you that in the would really suck. You would probably kill the Gerudos. I would be kind of scared to live under something like this. Because if it did fall, it would close this door and she would never get out of there. Unless they happened to notice and went to move it. I don't think they could move that ton of rock. Gorons. They, they would have eat to eat it. it. <laughs> just imagining like 15 Gorons around a rock. You! Eating what's food? the idea? Bringing that fire onto the ice house. Get out of here with that! You're gonna ruin our supply! How do you even get ice? I think they... I think she explains it at some point. Wow, it's taking a long time to kick me out. Um, Alright, now put away your fire weapon. I don't have to not attack with it. Get out with an ice... Get, an, get your ice weapon out. <laughs> Actually, yes, that would help. <laughs> Extra frozen! I was frozen today! Hey, golden bow. Yeah, I came down here and grabbed that in a previous episode. Yeah, you did. Heck, I probably still have it in my inventory. Yeah, it's because bows take forever to go through. Unless you literally attack only with them. Yeah, I don't use them a lot. She's counting. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Oh, Maybe. that's how they get the ice, duh. Seeing as we live in a desert, it's pretty important stuff for us, Grudo. So I guard the ice house 24 hours a day. Except Actually... I see. Well, if Ferosa wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Ferosa has no use for water, which I'm dripping with right now. Actually, you're in the middle of the desert. Wouldn't you want lots of water? Not if you need ice from it. All also, right, here we, we go. We will now cart this across the incredibly hot desert, where even in the shade it should melt. <laughs> But, for some reason, it won't melt if you put it in the shade. Oh. We've walked through the desert. You know how it can get. Don't take your time or the ice will melt. Off, Off I, I go. go. Be careful. careful. <laughs> now, having this out will cause it to melt less slowly. Or not at all. Probably just less slowly. Because yeah. if you walk into the sunshine, it will start melting. If I stay in the shade, though, it'll be good. Um, and I guess I'll call it an episode after we get this delivered. Oh, hey. Right. You know what's funny? I wonder if you wait until nighttime, can you, now that you have the block of ice, can you just go through there quickly? Um, you know, I never tried. Build the fire, wait till night, see it not be there. Well, or just stand in the shade and let time pass. Ah, I'm good. I want to try that. Now, the main problem with this is there are enemies here. And what you're supposed to do is stop and fight them while leaving this in the shade. But screw that. We're going to completely ignore them and just run through. Screw that noise. Oh, he, the, he not only is he just going to run through, he's going to activate cheat mode. I don't mind. I don't think you do either. Honestly, though, the path I usually take, I don't even go by them. I usually go around the outside. Or I just kill them all before I even get here. That's the good thing about this game. If you kill an enemy, it's not likely to spawn again. Um, Unless you're unlucky enough moon. for a yeah. blood moon. Which won't happen in the middle of the day. Uh, also, that's hardcore melting right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Luckily, I don't think you need a ton of ice. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Just make an ice sickle. Um, a a bokoba um. pop. You're taking a way that is not exactly great. I just wanted to go straight. A straight line is actually the most worst pattern that you can take for this. Most worst? Yes, most the worst. The most worst, yes. The most worst. 
I start jumping, Michael. You actually move faster while jumping? Slightly. Wee, look at me, hop and skip and a jump. It makes me hop wonder how speedrunners do 100% in this game. Oh lord. You'd be surprised how fast people can finish Hey! This. Over here! This way! Bring your <laughs> over here! Hopefully it's big enough. Hmm? You're... well, whatever. I don't care much who you are, as long as I get my ice. Ooh. Looks like the ice is in good shape, Soxo. With this, I'll be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit! It's still melting. Sorry, but could you please let Pocky know? Tell her that I made the best one ever, and I'll be... I've got it waiting for her. Ah. Knowing her, she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it. If she had the strength to run up there already, wouldn't she have? The promise of that would be enough to invigorate her to go. It's adrenaline. By the time we get back, she's died of thirst. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, because I put on Majora's Mask, I'm now a Vi again, apparently. Even though you can't see my face. So, uh... uh Vi's the girl, dude. Her, yeah, Vo. Whatever, shut up. Stuff, things. Vi, Vo. Vi, Vo. To Garuda Town I go. Vi, Vo. Vi, Vo. To rubber I go now. Mm -hmm. I need to rub her. And now it's time to end the episode. Vivo! Vivo, Vivo, Vivo! Goodbye, everybody! Um, shove drinks down her throats next time. And stuff. Goodbye!